Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account. We have another 12,000 diamonds, so we have been accumulating those quite a bit um, through all of the game content. So I have been farming like crazy when it comes to our tower. So the King's Tower, I've been farming like crazy. I've probably put 50, probably 50 plus floors. I believe we were at 16, 14, but very close. We've been farming this like crazy to get some diamonds so we can continue with the awakened version of Lucius. But in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Mystic Star Zone. That is right, this is finally up, which means a lot of players are gonna be able to finally finish the chest, guys. Now the reward chest overall, finally being able to actually finish this, we wanna farm out. Now, a couple things, if you are new to AFK Arena, there are three tiers. I want to kind of run through this. So there are three tiers. We have basic, we have intermediate, and then there are premium. Now premium, of course, you have to fight. There are three, as you can see, there are three teams right in here. And if you're going in here with, with my guild adventure run, but if you're going in here, um, you want to try to farm out this premium tier. This is the one that you want to that you want to go after. This is the one that you want to fight for is trying to get this premium tier. Um, if I can find one that is not already owned by us, but overall, the better that you're doing here, the better performing, which I believe this is a venture run as well. You want to try to come into this leaderboard. As you can see, we've done pretty well. We plan to come in here and really just push this as much as we can because we want the resources out of here. And of course, the big one when it comes to the resources is having the ability to get not only this chest, so a hero choice chest gives you the ability to get a copy of an awakened hero. Now, unfortunately, last season, I got zero of these. I didn't even see one of them, but you also have the opportunity to pull a lot of loot out of those preview chests, those regular chests. And then of course we have this. This is the cream of the crop. This is the big chest that everyone is looking for because it lets you build the second season of our Awakened Heroes. And of course, when we look at the list in here, even, I mean, the Awakened version of Belinda, we have Athelia, we have Shamira, and we have Laika, and we have Sophia, and we have Mitra. Every one of these are high, high tier heroes. If you were in this the first iteration, a lot of people got 15 to 17 of these fragment chests, which means they did not have the full 20 to get that additional copy out of here. So I'm really hoping we can get some of those. Now also this does have the hero choice chest, but it also includes time emblems, stargazer scrolls on the note of five and also the one right there. And they also have the arcane staffs. There's not really very many places that you can get these arcane staffs. Now, when you look at the amount of chests that you get in here, it is in the hundreds, which is awesome to see that we can go in here and we can farm out a lot of loot. Now, again, I'm kind of looking here. I just keep seeing this orange flag with the venture run. And so far, guys, big shout out to the guild that they are killing it. Right there is the orange flag as well, orange flag. So I think all the ones that we do currently have open, um, we do own. Even looking here, let's check out our map. Look at this. We have two that we do not own. That is kind of incredible. Now, looking at these two, a lot of players will either go ahead and take a medium tier so we can continue this going, or they will wait to see when the shield is up. So right here, time remaining 27 minutes. Um, time remaining right here on the node itself is 29 minutes, which means probability of taking that one is pretty low. The node is only gonna have two minutes left when it is completed. This is probably the same, so 11 minutes, 16 minutes. So again, this node is gonna be completely spent um, when we have the opportunity to come in here. Now, ultimately, what you wanna do when you get in here is again, Premium nodes are gonna be the priority. If you cannot take a premium node, you're going to take an intermediate node. It is going to be a much, much slower process because as you can see, with what the nodes produce, this node actually produces right here, productivity, 18 a minute. The larger nodes produce a lot more resources. I wanna see, so the medium node is 18. This one has 54. So I mean, we're talking what, almost three times the production, the, um, production value. So even if you have the ability to come in here and farm out a node and wait till one, this, one of these are up, because of course, once you do go in here and you do max out your nodes, once you build it out, once you do your, your couple of hours right here, then you're not gonna be able to farm anymore. You're gonna be done. So a lot of players that come into this later will already have a lot of the previous, um, a lot of the previous heroes already done. Now, kind of interesting, so the garrison, it's gonna go in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into one of these nodes right now. I'm gonna go ahead, it'll pop up with the heroes that we had in the last one. 
And with the amount of players that we have in our guild, um, getting a premium node, you're probably not gonna be able to do it for everybody. So I'm gonna have, again, a little bit of time that we're gonna farm this intermediate node. Every time that this is up with the shield, I'm gonna come back in here looking for the much larger node to continue our progression in here and going through. Now, of course, when you look at challenges, this is what you have to do within the event itself. This, of course, is going to give you um, quest points. So right here, occupying one or on the grass, on the hill, in the sand, this is what you have to do again to complete all of these challenges, which are gonna award points. The points, of course, are gonna be the accumulation of how you do get these chests. And you can see there's really two tiers in this. Um, ranking reward, so if we come in first, we get some more of these premium chests. That is what we're looking to farm out of here, is the premium chest, personal chests, of course. You do get a couple premiums in here. And then the militia quest, so this is the combination of everything that your guild is doing which is why it is super important, and we have really stressed this, making sure you're in an active guild when you get into these events. And Lilith has also said that there's gonna be a lot more events where we're gonna see the guild events. Now, right here is your zero, right here. Um, you have to make sure the reward mechanics, this rewards players that come in here and actually play the event. If you have not occupied Meteorite or for a cumulative of one hours, you will not receive any rewards in the end. That is right. You will get zero, the big fat goose egg. You're not gonna get any rewards. If you've occupied for one hour, you will get 50% of the rewards. If you have accumulated for three hours, you will receive 100% of the rewards this, this round, which means without a doubt, 100% if you're playing through AFK Arena, you have to get to this 100% to get these chests. This is probably one of the absolute biggest loot events that we see within AFK Arena, not only because of the yield that we see in here with the treasure chest, but also for the rewards. I mean, when you're looking at these basic chests, again, not only the ability to possibly get a hero, but when you start looking at poke coins, and again, this gives you a hundred, I think we got like 180 chests last time, and this event runs essentially three days. So you'll see right here, um, max limit is three days, so we do have the duration. This round ends in three days. Now, again, if you're not familiar with the Mystic Star Zone, we run three three-day periods, so it actually runs nine times. And then after that, you actually have the ability to go in there and um, you'll get all of your loot. So this gives an incredible amount of loot. So you wanna come in here, you wanna be active, you wanna get those chests, have to do at least that three hours, which even looking here at the timer, um, three hour right there is the max limit. Again, once you do hit that three hour timer, you're not gonna have the ability to farm anymore. You're gonna be done until we actually see the next day where it is gonna reset again for that three hour timer. And then you're gonna go ahead and come in here. Now, of course, Garrison team, we can go through, we can set a couple different teams. Now, when you see a node that is unprotected, you can actually attack players in there, which unfortunately, um, or fortunately for Adventure Run, we are doing incredibly well, but you can actually attack other nodes and steal them from other players. So even with some of these nodes that were very, very short-lived, um, we can kick them out, but it's only gonna be for a minute or two before that node expires. Now, in addition, new nodes pop up. So as we're depleting these nodes, when the nodes are depleted in their entirety, the nodes will actually disappear, giving way for more nodes to spawn. So again, if you come in here a little bit later, chances are you're gonna have the ability to actually pick up some of those nodes because other ones have um, expired, meaning they've depleted, they've di they've disappeared, and then the, the game, the event actually spawns new nodes. So we'll start seeing a lot more nodes in a bunch of different places. So right now, guys, big shout out to Adventure Run. We are off and running with the node farming right here, but that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.